Yo, McD. McD, it's 420. No way. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Welcome back to another day. It's either 119 or 120 days in a row. I forget. You know this because I forget every damn day. But McDaniel and I, hold up, let's pan to you. McDaniel and I are fucking with some people today. Can you hold that again? Uh, as you guys probably know, maybe not, uh, McDaniel and I work for a solar company. What we do is we sell solar. We sell for solar. I'm going to have to cut that out. That's bad. So, we were trying to get Adam Solar, but our company hasn't had the best luck getting Adam Solar. So, we've been scheduling appointments with other solar companies. Uh, kind of just to play with them a little bit also to see if we can get Adam the best deal. Because that's the bro. That's the protege. I'm going to make sure I get him the best deal possible. Bright Eye Solar? Okay. We have one appointment with Bright Eye Solar. We know nothing about that company, right? I don't really know anything about that company. Second company is with Trinity, right? Trinity, and look, if you guys know anything about Trinity, oh, the neighbors right over here, they actually, they have Trinity, right? Yeah. Yeah, these guys, right over here, they're, they're out there looking at me. That was crazy. Uh, they have Trinity, and Trinity's a bunch of pieces of shit, uh, and they're a shitty company, so we're probably going to mess with them a little bit on this one. Change bit. Yeah, that's what's up. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we, we do normally charge for it um, because uh, of the time that it takes. But uh, like I said, I'm already here. I don't mind. All right. So based off that first appointment, that was with Bright Eye, right, McD? Yep. Bright Eye. Dan Degler, solar consultant. He's a educator. And he, this guy knows we do sales. Okay. He knew McDaniel does solar. And this guy hit us with so many basics. What? Saying that he had two clients sign on today. Today. Been doing it for a year. Yeah, only been doing it for a year. He's not a salesman. He doesn't like sales. He yeah, I say that too. And I'll sell a fucking ice to an igloo, dog. That doesn't even make sense. An igloo can't buy anything. So what would you give his rating out of 10 on that appointment, McD? Definitely a 7 out of 10. Guy was super chill. He was better on the phone than he was in person. But he was a little bit of a capper as we found out. Got the good prices though, so we might hit him back. Yeah, that was a good thing. Is he came with the solid prices, ownership model, just how we want, and the price, the price was solid. If you look in, what was the average? It was like two eleven a month, but with the S Rex, that put him down to like what was like one sixty. Yeah. Yeah. So that that honestly is not bad, and the panels were way more efficient than our company could have had. We were able to offset more of the power than we could with our own company, which is pretty dope. The panels look nice. Sleek, black panels. You know, I like it black, baby. But yeah, so first appointment, give it a 7 out of 10. We're going to go with the second appointment. I'm expecting a 3 out of 10. These guys are total... Dickwads. Dickwads, yes. I would agree, McDaniel. So I'm going to check in after this appointment. That's why Trinity sucks ass, because they are late. That other dude was 10 minutes early to the appointment. Yeah, dude. I was telling you, that. When I, I, I wasn't on the phone with that bright-eyed guy, but I would really kind of get a... Yeah. I like that guy. Oh, yeah. But it is 502, 503 now, and um, I don't hear any ring ding and dong in on my doorbell. Go. Bunch of idiots. Show up early to your appointments. All right, so we're watching <sighs> Jack Reacher, and I called out a flaw in the movie, and McDaniel and I got a $5 bet. Are you going to shake? That the lady, when she got shot, fell onto a bench and not how they showed in the second scene where she fell into a bush. Okay? That's the agreement. Five dollars. Five dollar bet. You're going to watch your boy make five dollars in real time. Rewind. Back, 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 back. Give me that. <laughs> now watch. He's going to find that lady running. You going to shoot her. Right? Now watch, watch her fall into the bench. Femo, cash app. <laughs> Femo, baby. I'll take Apple Cash. <laughs> There's, dude. Wh wh what? Yeah, I really should have put 100 on too, because I knew her. Like, I already seen this. I was, <laughs> what? Dude, because I made a mental note of her falling on the bench <laughs> when it happened. Dude, that's some bullshit. We live in a video game, and the video game was... You were the fucking main character that time. What? What? <laughs> this is some class grade A bullshit! I forgot that he was. 
I, I, I'm fucking dumbfounded right now. I cannot believe that happened. Also, where is this guy? You sent the right address, right? Yo, literally, what even are these guys? Adam got a neck pillow. McDaniel got a clip in his hair. Like, I come out and I see these two bozos. Like, what? Fortnite dance. Ow, fuck. Hey, get this shit off me. I need help. I can't see. And this shit smells like my breath, which is way worse than I thought. What up, shipbirds? I'm being quiet because Adam's sleeping. But you guys remember those blisters that were on my hand yesterday? Just roll the clip. Yeah, so I'm going to try to pop them. Now, uh, let's get into our array of tools. All right, so what we have here is the trusty pink tweezers. Goat, goaded tweezers, by the way, phenomenal. The Facon straight razor, which I do use to shave my face and that one time my balls, but we don't like to talk about that time. We have the little pokey scoopy thing with a sharp tip. And then we have the uh, nail clippers. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna use the nail clippers. I'm probably just gonna stab it with this thing. All right, so as you guys can see right here, um, that's where the blisters were. I'm not gonna lie. I may or may not have been laying on my hand like this and I popped them in between these two clips. I should have recorded them all at once, but eh, what can you do? So uh, we're just kind of gonna tear the skin off and I'm gonna give you guys a close up because that's gross and people like gross things. I just watched a three minute TikTok of someone popping a bunch of pimples on a dude's face and I was very entertained. Um, but let's go get back to mutilating my hand. So part of why this is so hard is because I have to go in with my left hand. And if you know anything about me, my left hand is about as useless as, I don't know, something that's useless. I was gonna make a bad joke. Ow, ow, ow. Dude, why do I have a, how do I have a hair growing out of there? How did it burn my skin so bad? But I have blisters, but I still have hair growing out. Let's give this one nice. Ah, no, some liquid coming out. Ooh, kind of gross. Let's step measures up a little bit and go with the uh, good old straight razor. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, that was juicy. There was a lot of liquid in there. That was low key, really fucking gross. Um. This is the worst angle I could possibly have. All right, this is so hard, dude. Ow. Okay. Those don't work for shit. Let's go with the tweezers. Ouch, ouchy. That didn't even hurt, I'm totally over exaggerating. Okay, that, that one stung a little bit because there's an open wound on my hand. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't doing shit. It's, I'm so uncoordinated with my left hand. Like, watch, watch. I'm gonna open this door handle with my right hand, okay? Look, it looks very natural, right? Now watch, here's my left hand. You know, the hand that is Honestly, doesn't even need a purpose on my body. Watch this. I'm gonna walk up and I'm just like, see how uncoordinated that was? And then this just, I like turn my whole wrist. It just feels unnatural. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fist that is now an open wound and I'm gonna go on my pants and go like this. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, and now, as you guys can see, as you can see, now there is no longer a blister there and my hand is just torn to shreds so the only next step that would make sense is to pour rubbing alcohol on it and then call it a night and go to bed we have uh, our 91 percent isopropyl alcohol and we have my open wound of a hand and i am going to ah. oh my god it's sticky so bad That 
wasn't that bad. I'm totally over exaggerating. All right, so now that my hand is um, it actually looks way better now. No lie. Ow, that that kind of hurt. That was a dumb idea. I'm gonna do it again though. Ouch. Yep, there's no more skin from any of those blisters on my hand. So I guess it's my time to shine. You guys know the drill. 120 days in a row. 120, 121. I think at the beginning of the Earth video, I said like 118 to 119, but I'm always a day behind. So I think it's 120 days in a row. But thank you guys for watching. If you're at this point in the video, you're a sick son of a bitch. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.